In this section, we are going to see about the Amazon S3 pricing. So pricing is a very, very important because when you uh, design any kind of architect, uh, you need to, as a part of your responsibility, you should make sure that optimize the cost. Okay. Because some people will try to upload the data and they never uh, repeatedly change the data. So you have to analyze the data based upon that you can optimize the cost. Okay. So that's why I'm showing the pricing model. So if you come here, the storage in pricing actually. So each tire has a different, different pricing. Okay. And you are going to, uh, so these are the region specific. Based upon region, the charges will vary, but it's not varying much actually. I've seen uh, this is not just 0.02 only. The variation is there, but almost same only. Okay. So if you see the for standard, they are going to charge for first, first 50 TB of per month, 0.023 per GB they are charging. Okay. So this much for first 50 TB. If you're going more than 4 TB, then they are reducing 0.002 per GB they are charging. Okay. For intelligent tire for 50 TB. So this is for standard. For standard, they are charging this one. For intelligent S3 intelligent tire for 50 TB, they are charging 0.023, okay? And also they are charging how much API request you are making. For example, you are uploading the data, 0.025 per 1000 objects they are going to charge. So this is some monitoring service. Whenever you configure intelligent tire, so it will monitor it based upon that, this API request will call. So this is the charges for that, okay? And if you go for the next one, so me, so if you go for uh, standard uh, frequent access, you can see it is 0 0.025, 0 0.025. For, so these are every for every month, okay? Everything for a monthly. For one zone A, they're charging 0 0.016 per GB, okay? And if you go for glacier, okay? If you go for uh, glacier, it is still less actually. So let me show you that part. So if you see a glacier, they are charging 0 0.0036 per GB per month. They are charging, okay. And uh, this is for fix. This is for fixable. But if you go for instance, it is charging 0 0.04, okay. So difference is very less actually compared to that. But when you compare with standard, it is very uh, very, very cheap, right? Okay. But these are accessing. So you can see it is uh, for longer term backups or and the retrieval also one minute to 12 hours actually. Okay. For deep archive, if you could see that one. If, if you see for deep archive and we are charging 0.009 per GB. Okay. And so this retrieval is takes 12 hours. Okay. And and next part is they are not storing for the only the data. They are going to charge for the um, how much you are uh, how much you are going to upload the data. So if you see here, uh, this is for how much you are uploading the data. So put means you are uploading, and uh, list means you are reading the file. So how much request you are making? Okay, based upon that they are going to charge it. And similarly for uh, get the object, select the object. So these are you do from the uh, whenever you upload via CLI or through management console. Okay, this is the thing. Okay, so before, uh, so in order to optimize the cost, you have to see this uh, part actually. And next one is uh, so these are the request level, object request level for each tier. What all the uh, they are going to charge. Okay, for deep archive and uh, this one, they are not charging only for standard and uh, standard infrequent and the standard and intelligent tire, they are going to charge it. Okay, and they are going to charge for pricing not only the storage and also a data transfer. So, any transfer, any data transfer out to the internet, the so first 100 GB per month. Okay, they are. Uh, so the data transfer for 100 GB, okay, they are not giving any charges 
Okay, you need data transferred from S3 bucket to the same region. So these are the, they are not charging actually, but they are charging transfer out. Anything data goes out from the internet, they are not charging, okay? And any transfer out from S3 to internet, okay? So this is from internet. So this is anything from, from S3 bucket to internet, okay? So first 10 TB, they are charging 0.95, okay? So anything goes via internet, okay? So if it's there within your network, then it's fine. But anything going via internet, they are going to charge for this. So they are going to charge for your storage as well as your data transfer, 0.05 per GB they are charging, okay? For CloudFront, they are not charging when you transfer out from S3 to... So we have designed um, one of the, we hosted one of the applications via from S3 to CloudFront. So in that case, they are not charging 0.95, okay? For other region, they are charging if it's going via region specific, okay? And this is the one, okay? And next one is you can see, so, so anything you are using, any encryption key or like that, they are not charging for anything. But if you are using dual server side encryption, they are going to charge 0.935, okay? So next is you can see the insights. So this is the inventory. Uh, we use some inventory to track it. For that, they are charging 0.025 per millions per hour. So this is very cheap. And any kind of batch operations you are doing, so that time they are going to charge 0.25 per job, okay? That is a thing. So any kind of replication. So we use something called just cross replications. So that cross replication for another S3 bucket region, they are going to charge for your data transfer, okay? So this, uh, any batch operations, they are going to charge, okay? And this is, uh, yeah, so this is like any kind of request you are making from through Lambda, you are reading some file or any request you are making from the Lambda that charges you are okay. okay? So that's it in this pricing model we see in the next lecture. Thank you.